Hey, what's up guys? My name is Han Yang and in this video, we are going to be learning how to make this. All right, so before we begin on how I show you guys how to make this transition, I just want to make a quick disclaimer. There are tons of ways on how to go at it with this transition, but I'm just going to show you my way, which we are going to be using the reshape tool. And I'm going to be explaining the process on when, when you should be using it and when you shouldn't be using it. All right, so let's just jump right into it. All right, so jumping right into After Effects, I have laid out a couple of clips for you guys. So one is this elephant fanning his ears. And the second one is a fan where my friend is holding a fan. When I was making the shot, I actually had my friend holding a fan first. And I was trying to look for a peacock. I, I shot this at the zoo. So I was trying to look for a peacock and waiting for waiting for them to spread their feathers. But I couldn't find any peacocks at the zoo. So I actually got this shot where the elephant's fanning his ears. So I decided to link those two shots together where the elephant becomes the fan. Yes, some food for thought when you guys are sh out shooting. Um, just always keep transitions in mind. And when you do, try to look for similar shapes and similar colors because that's the best way to make everything look more seamless okay so let's just begin on let's just dive right into this so the first thing that we do is duplicate this layer uh, this is the still image as you can see and uh, control d just to duplicate and wait i'm going to pre-compose when i draw a mask on it it won't resize the mask at all so i'm going to do a rough mask around this elephant Okay, so there's basically the rough mask of the elephant's head, okay? So if we turn off this layer, um, as you can see, it's all ahead, but we want to keep the background layer still on to get the background. And afterwards, we're going to decompose this fan as well. Okay. And just draw a rough mask around the fan as well. Like really rough, like this. Super easy. Then what we're going to do is copy this mask, paste it under mask in the elephant layer, okay? So this is really important. Do not paste in mask one, paste it in mask, okay? If you paste in mask one, it's going to delete your mask and put the fan mask over your current mask of the elephant mask, okay? So press enter to rename the layers. Click on mask one and press enter to rename the layers. Elephant more organized and fan okay there we go there we have it see two masks around it okay so now this is what we're going to do we're going to go to effects and presets just type in reshape okay this is the, this is the effect tool every every after effect should have this no no plugin needed okay so this is what it looks like the source mask is the elephant the destination mask is the fan and this is what it looks like when you have a hundred percent See how it just rotates the elephant? Right, this is actually not a bad rotation. But it does look pretty weird. Um, I actually screwed up. What we're going to do right now is actually pre-compose. We're going to delete this mask. Let me start over, y'all. We're going to copy these two masks, okay? And we'll copy these two masks and paste it under mask here. Okay, so we, we won't lose it. Okay. So we actually need to pre-compose twice. Uh, I don't know why, but even though we just have the head, it shapes the background too. And I don't like that. So we're going to pre-compose twice, right? So get rid of that, get rid of the mask. And get rid of the fan mask, I'm sorry. Pre-compose. Go. So now this time, and we have the mask, these two, these to here. And when we drag in the reshape tool, the source mask is elephant and the destination image mask is a uh, fan. It should only, re yep, see how, see how it only does the head now instead of the background? Perfect. Okay, so this is exactly what we want. The thing that what we need to do is, it still does a little bit of a rotation, and we need to get rid of that. So in order to get rid of that rotation, it, you need to draw lines or connect the lines from one point to another. So if you zoom in here, see there's a white line right here, saying it's connected to this point to that point, all right? So what we need to do is 
move, move it around, draw points, and just start moving them. And press Alt, bring up the anchor point, or to draw, to bring up your end tool, and click on the line. Click on this line. See how if we just drag it here, it'll, ease, it'll just transform it into the direction that you want it to go. So from this point to this point, and it reaches 100% and but, yeah, so on. So we're going to do this for every point. Okay, so I think that should be it. Um, let's see how it looks. Hoping for the best here, guys. That's actually exactly what I want. I want to just kind of fill up the entire screen of where the fan is. Now we just got to blend in and make sure that the elephant turn into the fan seamlessly. Okay. So now that um, the elephant is shaping into the fan, what we got to do now is play with the opacity. And yeah, for the most part, I think that's, I think for the most part, that's how we do it. Um, let me show you guys how to blend it in. Okay. There's many ways to go into this. Best one that I like to do or helps the most is matching colors. So not only are we matching the shape now, we're going to match the colors. By matching the colors, we're going to change the percentage. All right. So put the first of all, let's just let's just do the percentage first. Okay. Well, let's start it at zero and jump to a couple frames. Like what? Two, three, four, five. I say around five or six. We wanted to make this really fast, right? Around six frames or five. So from there, to play it, we're going to do boom, right? It's going to jump right into that. And we want to start to reveal the background. Okay. Yeah, change. What I mean by that is like from the background to change. Okay. Hundred percent to zero percent. Okay. Then. I'm going to remove the mask for the fans. Boom. Okay. So see how the background changes into the fan. And while, while it's changing, we're also going to change the opacity as well. Okay. So from 100 to 0. Boom. That's what it looks like. Not too bad, right? So again, we're going to need to make this more seamless and to make it more natural. We're gonna have to change colors, okay? So go to your effects and presets, uh, type in change, and don't go to change color, but change to color, okay? And under this, we click on your eyedropper tool uh, on the from right here, click on your elephant's color, okay? Now, to pick the brightest card, okay, to this fan, okay? So as you can see, it's doing nothing, okay? We're actually going to disable the opacity real quick, just so I can show you how this works. Um, there we go. I'll put it back in. See how it's literally doing nothing. So you want to change the hue and saturation, even the hue, saturation, lightness. Probably just hue and saturation. Sometimes lightness work, but it's sometimes too much. See now you got this nice hue, all right? And you can change the hue color to like full brown, like that, or you know even the saturation. Know, saturation so what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe both the hue and the saturation all right so hue saturation both keyframes all right open them up go to the end of the of the where the transition ends at the saturation and bring up the hue i don't want to change the hue just to be around 20 like that's the best yes exactly so you see how it kind of just slowly adds in the colors and then have the opacity go back to zero and now we have this blend of color and the shape into the um into the fan we can style this some more by using a cartoon effect where it actually draws out the lines but i won't go into that much in depth i'll let you guys play with the effects and if you guys have any questions just feel free to comment down below and I'll try to answer as much as I can um, but yeah that's pretty much it and that's kind of how I tackled this um, this was inspired obviously 
by Ben TK with the whole statue. Um, if you guys don't know who he is, I'll definitely link uh, his video down in the description. But yeah, this is my way of tackling of how the transition works. That's pretty much it. Let's see the final result. And there we have it guys, the Ben TK Morph Transitions. Uh, this is my way of tackling it. If you guys have any other ways or any other suggestions on how you think he did it, feel free to comment section down below. I would love to see what you guys' response is. And if this has helped you guys in any shape or form, uh, feel free to sub to this channel. I'll be providing more tutorials and content in the future. And yeah, oh, before I forget, uh, make sure to follow me on my Instagram. Uh, I post daily photos or short videos there pretty frequently as well and yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys so much and i'll see you all next time peace